Hello and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Deutschland. The team today is coming to you live from Berlin, one of the best cities in the whole world. So uh, it's our fifth day here and we're going to give you a whirlwind tour of uh, the city in just 10 minutes. And in this edition we'll be giving you a tip on everything that is Berliner, some places of interest as well as customs, food and even a bit of music. Okay, so over here we're currently at Checkpoint Charlie. Yay! 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 <laughs> We've got the American checkpoint, the army checkpoint. They've been asking the, um, you know, for us to take a photo with them for two euros, but not really worth it. Traveller's tip, not worth it. Not worth it, exactly. When you can stand over here and get footage of it. Get, get some footage. Yeah, I've got footage. And it didn't even cost me two euros. It didn't even cost you two euros. It's so amazing. Some economic advice there, guys. Just take photos of people taking photos with them. Save two euros. Why not? <laughs> Here I am standing in, a, you know, a museum in Berlin, just a little wall with some animals on it. Oh wait, it's the Gate of Ishtar. <laughs> Freaking amazing! Like, just look at this thing. It's 15 meters high, and this is only the smaller gate that was reconstructed. They couldn't even build, reconstruct the bigger one because there's just too much of it to fit in this building. This is the Pergamon Museum, by the way, um, museum in Cell in Berlin. And we are currently just dumbstruck with awe at what it's like to walk through these colossal structures which come from a time which is so long ago that it's difficult to comprehend. Thousands of years ago. And they were pretty good at decorating. You know, they were pretty good at it. I, I quite like this in my house. Can you like make a note that I want this is my future house? I don't think that one. Hey Deutschland, here we are today in Berlin, just having a great time with all of our Berliner music, just partying with Berlin style, when the sun goes down and it's so beautiful, this is the place to be, it's so great, just having a great time, a red moon time, and just listen for yourself, it's very good and we have to do fun. In 29 degree Berlin heat. Yeah. Like this chocolate from the tap. It's pure paradise. Let's ask the customer what she thinks about this place. We're, um, uh, we're from Good Morning Deutschland and we would like to ask you what you think about this place. Yes, it's very good. Wunderbar. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And yeah, they can come here. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you. So you can see all the, like, the faces, how, how they make the chocolate. So roasting, peeling, grinding. But as I look around, I can see the most important part of the process, and it's eating. So when are we gonna eat? Come on, let's get some chocolate right now. So we are at the uh, last uh, phase of our journey, of our journey, which is the main point: eating the chocolate. What's in it? Sour cherry, lemon, gingerbread. How is it working for you? It's working. <laughs> oh, it's working. 
Oh, no, you missed it. Oh, oh no. Again, again, again. <laughs> what do you Welcome today at Sports with Peter Morgan Deutschland. Today we play Ampleman, the game for young and old. Today we have a green light. Uh, supposed to be a game today, but no one is playing the Ampleman. Maybe <laughs> they still have five seconds to Ampleman. Quick, to the Ampleman! Side. There they go. The Australian Ampleman goes and makes a fortunate jump. And, he and leaves back, the and back, conquerors. and back, yeah. come Ampleman. back, Ampleman, and back. The game has already started, but none of the competitors, of the competitors. realizes that the Australian wins <laughs> on point. Why is no one coming with me? <laughs> Nobody said the rules. Nobody said the rules. You gotta go. We're You're back in the studio. Everyone doubts. What was it that they didn't run? Was it the South American laziness? Was it the Hungarian <laughs> drunkenness? They just didn't understand it. The Eastern Front lost. The South American Front lost. Australian is winner. I'm now asking Joshua Harris to join me here in the studio. Joshua, how do you feel winning the Apple Man Games? I feel amazing. Yeah. I've been training all my life for this moment and I knew I could bring gold for the Australians. We Thanks, started Mom. doing a double ample uh, on the end of the Apple Man race. Uh, did you practice okay. long for this? Yes, uh, it, it hasn't been done technique. before. I, I was trying. I know that it's a dangerous technique, yeah. but I really went for it today, Mikhail. I feel so good. Pumped up. Live from Berlin, this was Apple Man Sports with Michael Hitkamp. See you back in the studio. Good to work with you, Bye. Wow. 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 Wow.